What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hey, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe or the notification bell, please do. We really don't want you guys missing out on any new content that we have coming up um, with the early body build on the Bronco and the surprise build that we have coming up. Hopefully we get that knocked out before Christmas, uh, but we don't want you guys to miss out on any of that stuff. But as uh, far as today goes, guys, we're going to be knocking out the firewall and the floor um, sorry the bed of this thing and um, if we have enough time we're going to be getting to the rear quarter panels as well so uh, stay tuned and take a look at what we got coming up all right guys so Chris is working on getting this floor unpackaged and firewall assembly so usually that's what we do we start with the floor and then uh, start working on assembling the firewall and we'll actually do the firewall completely separate off of the Bronco and uh, obviously he's just locking it up right there but he will assemble it off of the Bronco and then we'll slip it back on and mate the firewall to the floor like we just did. This is where we were at as far as the body. There's Chris. I'm actually going to have him explain what we've been doing the last two days. All right, so we got this firewall in. Uh, luckily, we were able to get a one piece floor section, which makes uh, the process much better. That's your, you can build your front and your rear off of that to balance it out really well. Uh, the firewall, this is also always a pain to do. None of the parts ever align perfectly. So there's always a lot of tweaking and whatnot. We actually assembled this firewall off of the body and then brought it over and attached it to the floorboard and at that point you have to tweak it all to get it to line just perfectly so you can get your top plate here for your cowl and all these other brackets as you can see the fitment went really really well um, the next part of this process is the floor in the back now we ran into one issue back here there's a cross member that goes right here that supports the rear of your bed your tailgate and they didn't ship it it was back order so now I'm about to go on a drive uh, about an hour and a half from here go pick up that part from a different uh, vendor and uh, as soon as I get back we'll continue and hopefully we'll have the bed sides put on later today all right guys, so while Chris is heading down to Wild Horses to pick up this uh, rear cross rail, I'm going to start knocking out the, um, the casters for our jig table so we can get this thing rolled around. So you can see that's what I'm starting with. Get this thing up on the jack stands. Um, I've already assembled the, the casters. Obviously I'm welding those things on right there. We actually made it to where the, um, the casters actually come off for shipment. You know, once we get it lifted up with the forklift, we have a, um, a set screw that we'll release and the casters stay with us and the jig table goes to the client. Well, Chris finally arrived to Wild Horses to grab this rear cross support for the bed and uh, luckily it wasn't down there too long. It was actually a lot quicker than I thought. So uh, I was glad that he was able to run down there and get, grab that for us. So as he's coming home, I'm actually still working on this jig table, doing the last two casters on the front so uh, these, these casters actually worked out really, really well for us. All right, guys, here we go. This is what we got knocked out for today. We got the firewall assembly all in. Portion of the floor, sorry about the mess. But uh, this is what we got. We got portion of the cow put in. But um, yeah, so if you guys weren't able to to um, see the couple of first videos, click the links on the previous videos. So you can take a look at you know what we got going on. We start with the jig table, then we got the firewall assembly. We'll be getting back to the floor, and uh, yeah. So you know, obviously, here's the inside of the firewall. You know, it's, obviously we have to get it all tacked up. We got the front um, lower cow and that top plate welded in. So we will be getting starting with the floor and quarter panels tomorrow. So stay tuned and uh, 
Again, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe and the notification bell, please do. That way you guys are always staying up to date with what we got going on. You can see in the background with the, the other Bronco back there. That's the type of stuff that we're gonna be doing. We got some other stuff coming up as well. But uh, we just wanna make sure you guys are staying tuned to everything that's going on. So uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell. And we will see you guys tomorrow.